everybody welcome back to another another episode of book a lunch day so today we're making something super summery and i think it's perfect for this weather we're going to be making um coconut honey shrimp so today we'll be using some um, coconut water um to marinate our shrimp so it will go perfect with the weather it's a lot it's really refreshing and we'll also add a little honey to it so it's a nice sweet and savory um flavor um, to go with our shrimp so let's get started so here are the ingredients that we are going to need we're going to need some shrimp um i'm also adding in a little bit of um oyster sauce to make it a little bit more shrimpy and seafoody and of course our uh, we will need our coconut water our sugar salt and honey and we'll be adding um a little onion and garlic to go with it as well all right, let's get started. All right, so we have our shrimp. We're going to open our coconut water. Let me just add about a cup. It's enough to marinate our shrimp. Our, our um, oyster sauce. Oops, I'll wash it. I have to wash that. Oyster sauce. A little bit of honey. Just a tiny bit of sugar since we've already added in our honey. And coconut water is also sweet. And our salt. Right, use your hand and just kind of mix everything together. Now, if you want a lot of shrimp when it's on sale, what you can do is you can totally um, marinate it, put it in a Ziploc bag, and when you're ready to cook it, maybe during grill or stuff like that, then you can defrost them. But right now, we're just going to kind of let it sit and um, cut our other ingredients. Okay, so first of all, we will be... Alrighty, so first of all, we'll be cutting our onion. We want to make it nice and small, so remove the skin part. And then just, you don't want to cut it through. See, I'm only cutting, I'm not chopping the whole thing off. I'm only chop, I'm leaving it um, so it's still intact. This will be very helpful. So the whole thing is still very intact. This will be helpful when you're cutting it over. It's not you're it's not moving around. So when you're chopping it over to make it a nice same size onion bit, it's going to be nice and easy. And then you flip it over and you can you know, chop the edge off. See how easy that is? You have to chop it a little bit by bit. And then need a little garlic. And our garlic, we're just going to chop it over.
and get a bowl and then we'll set them aside and get ready to cook. Alrighty, so let's get started. It's very tiny fire. And we're going to add a little oil to it. Now if you have coconut oil and you want to use coconut oil, um, totally fine. You can totally use coconut oil if you want. But I'm just using regular vegetable oil. So we're going to caramelize our onion. You can use scallop if you want. I'm just using onion because that's what I have. I'm just going to let it coat in oil and let it cook. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about two-thirds of the garlic in. I'm not adding everything, just two-thirds. Because I want to add a little kind of kick to it. So that will go really well with the, the sweetness I will be adding in later. I'm just going to cook. Let it release the nice garlicky smell. So you don't want to burn the garlic. So once the garlic is a little brownish, a little golden brown, then we can add in our shrimp. But this time we want to turn on our flame, okay? Just add it in. And just let it cook. Now we want to make sure it reduce all the moisture um, while it's cooking our shrimp so you don't want to um, put on any lids and you want to make sure you're, um, you have the fire up high. It's a nice, it's not very strong, but you can really um, smell the nice coconut 
in my mouth. It's very coconutty. So let it reduce the uh, moisture, the liquid, and then at the end we can add in our rest of the garlic. It's not a lot, but it's really going to help release that flavor. Here, if you want, you can add a little um, green onion or um, sesame on top to make it nice and uh, an uh, another garnish. But I'm not going to do that today. We are almost done. Get our plate ready. Alright, so most of the moisture are gone. I'm just going to turn off the flame and plate. It's really fast and easy. I mean, shrimp, it's a perfect dish if you're an uh, ingredient if you're in a hurry because it cooks super fast. And it's easy to add like layer on different ingredient on top of it. And if you're allergic or is a vegetarian, you can always substitute the protein with something else. Right, let's give it a try. Let's try our shrimp. Um, coconut shrimp with honey glaze. It's nice and sweet. And it's hot. Um, you, I think it would um, be more coconutty if you use coconut oil, but which I didn't. But you can still, it's very slight, at the, it's very subtle, which I like a lot because you don't want to overpower the shrimp. And other taste. It's a it's a very easy dish to make, and I think you can definitely try it on the grill. Um, if you're grilling, if you're doing a barbecue outdoor, um, you can marinate the shrimp and just you know put it on the grill. I think it will be a party flavor because it's very nice and summery, and it's not super overwhelmingly um like salty, and it's very subtle sweetness, which I like a lot. Huh? Mm. I like it. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys!